relics and, and so on and so forth. And then on, onto this one, paranoia. Like, this is a pretty weird picture. I mean, like, he has, doesn't really have anywhere to climb from unless he's doing that parkour shit, I reckon. Uh, or either he's climbing out, but why would he do that? It doesn't look like he wants to kill himself or, kill himself or anything. And that was derived from uh, the notion that a lot of people are paranoid, uh, like they, people have alarms on their houses and like we're all scared that when we meet new people, we're, we're very cautious. Most people are, I'm generalizing here. Uh, we are often cautious of other people. Like, and then we don't really meet new people and we stay in our houses and we lock ourselves in. And I wanted like people, the players to kind of like think about that too when I created this. Uh, let's have one more in the last example. And this is called the seat. Uh, like, <laughs> very, <laughs> all of those themes are very dark. I guess I'm just like an emo soul or something like that. Uh, or a pretentious bastard. Uh, this kind of needed to depict like d how the seat might work. Uh, like, he's kind of. You see those the colors uh, above, and, and the grain is like it's darker underneath. Um, he's kind of like shielding his companions from all that is pretty and like more free outside of their bubble. Like he's basically saying, this is how you need to live, and this is what you need to do. Uh, and they're like, yeah, okay, well, we're listening to that shit, uh, while he's looking at you. And kind of like uh, creating a bond with the viewer, saying, "I'm fooling these fuckers," uh, and that's why also this this here uh, kind of like flows out from him, and and creating that kind of shield so that they won't know what's outside of their comfort zone. Comfort zone. Uh, Um, ba, 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 ba. And that what I feel like is kind of lacking, I'm going to wrap this up now, uh, is kind of lacking when people are talking about art in games. Like, just because we're into developers, people like think, oh shit, into developers, they make like artsy, fartsy games. But I, I don't know, like, a game can be art, music can be art, like Britney Spears is not fucking art, but music can be art. And I mean, I feel it's the same in this room. Like, if someone wants to say something, then it probably will be art if you communicate with something else than words. Except when it comes to poetry uh, and music. But then again, you're not conveying a direct message. You're kind of trying, still trying to say something that can't be said in just words. Once again, Eva Dahlgren. Uh, music is created when words uh, are lacked. I changed that quote, but it's the, still the same meaning. Uh, I just want to make an example, uh, like this shit right here. Uh, I don't know if you had anything to say with it, but like when I play that, it, it got me thinking about stuff. Uh, and it's what not stuff? <laughs> fucking in space generally. No, but like how everything basically sometimes may actually just come down to, I don't know, exploring, shitting, fucking. Like how much is my life worth really? I'm standing here like trying to make some kind of meaning out of art, but maybe it all just doesn't really mean anything. Um, one last example. Uh, you guys would probably say that this is art, right? Because it's got the feel of it. Like, it's created 500 years ago. It's a couple of guys fighting. He's putting his knee up his, up his back, and there's a little symbolics going on and all that. 
and probably will generally say that that is art. Uh, but when you look at this, you would probably say that this is not art. Just because it kind of looks like a video game, but basically they're doing the same thing. There's a lot of symbolics going on in this picture as well. Uh, and there's a guy hitting another guy and he loses his head. Uh, but you <laughs> kind of have those bars here instead, which uh, would then, for some weird reason, degenerate the artistic value in this picture. Uh, and I'm currently trying to figure out why that is. Um, and why I'm talking, I just wanted, I, I guess this is all I wanted to say actually. Uh, I think I'm kind of done here. I wanted to show something that I've done too in the beginning of the presentation, but I kind of forgot that. So I'm not, if you want to not. see what I do. Okay, I'll, I'll do it now. Uh, like, this is what I do. Um, and the sim symbolic is really like <laughs> there because uh, I've gotten hooked on it lately. I feel like I'm rambling now. I don't, don't really have anything more to say, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up and just say thank you very much. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's a question, I told you. <laughs> yes? Um, how did you guys meet and how did you decide to make uh, this kind of game? We had... A few, no! Uh, I think the whole relationship began when I did a judo throw at, <laughs> at a party <laughs> on Eric. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't we both studied here in this city. Yeah. And we had some beers and stuff. And I don't know, uh, we kind of wanted to do something big together and then we decided we should probably do something small first to see if we can work together and then it turned out somewhat big in the end anyway. And it all kind of just happened, I guess. We just played around freely. Uh, yes? What's the, what technique to use for those paintings? Those? All oh, those you have sessions. Uh, um, watercolors, oil, uh, oil. So I mainly I use oil and watercolors. Yes. Yeah, more time. Uh, I had two questions for me before. Yeah. What What are next for you? Yes. <laughs> Seems like everybody wants to. I don't know. Not decided. We're like just chilling, man. <laughs> well, the iPad update. <laughs> yes, the iPad update. Um, is it like the whole comedian game concept? Is it like both of your visions combined, or is it like uh, two separate things that came together and work well together? Or? Is there anything you can say about that? Or? If I need to speak, if I speak for myself, uh, I would say that we share some thoughts and philosophies about things, and that is kind of like the reasons why we ended up working together. And we we tr we always communicate. Like if something didn't fit, we always told the other one, and we didn't really like to actually speak that much to each other while creating it because we had the conversation going on up here somewhere I think like silent communication that's it goodbye <laughs>